So now that I have your attention, let me tell you why you would love to learn Houdini. Why you must absolutely learn Houdini if you want to be free as an artist. If you want to create anything you desire, anything that your mind can think of, you can create it in Houdini. You can create anything from 3D models, VFX, animations. You can create any system that you, your mind can think of. Simulations, landscapes, cinematics, cameras, rendering, anything that you can think of. You can create it in Houdini. And it is amazing program. It is one of the best programs that have been created for 3D creation itself. So why should you learn this amazing program? Well, it's very simple to create anything you desire for your projects and be as free as you can be as an artist. So this is why you should learn Houdini. And it, this is why you must learn Houdini. It is the future of the gaming industry and in other industries as well unless something better comes <laughs> but for now this is what we have so this is the reason you must learn Houdini so now uh, why people some people start learning Houdini and why uh, do you think they give up so there um, the reason I mean in my opinion would be that uh, Houdini it takes a lot of time to actually master it uh, because it gives you so much freedom you have so many different things that you can do and so many different tools techniques and tricks that you can do it takes incredible amount of um, practice and uh, time to actually become really really proficient however it is worth it every single second that you spend in this program in this software it is worth your time and effort because once you master it there is nothing that you cannot create so uh, some people just start learning it and give up because uh, they don't have the patience or because uh, they think something else is better you know, they have different uh, reasons I'm, I don't know um, every single person has a different reason probably but for me I would like to actually learn Houdini and I would love to teach you what I know and uh, teach you everything that I learn in my path to become uh, absolutely free artist and I think Houdini is uh, the program that uh, will uh, help me achieve that goal and I hope it is uh, the same for you so I know my channel is called Unreal Freedom and I know this is not a tutorial or a video for Unreal or is it? With Houdini, you can actually try, uh, you, there is a plugin that lets you uh, send your systems into Unreal. So you can create, for example, procedural uh, gate or procedural fence or anything, and you can send this in Unreal, and uh, you can uh, test it in Unreal. So you can prototype your levels using the systems that you create in Houdini. So it is very usable and uh, with Unreal of course you can create your assets export them to Unreal and have it this way uh, as well however um, I decided to uh, also make videos about Houdini because uh, Houdini is amazing and it will give you freedom and this is all about you getting more freedom as an artist so I think uh, it's a uh, time well spent and I hope uh, you would like to see my videos and see what I can teach you and what I can show you and uh, this is a process for me and I'm going to show you everything that I learned from here on 
and I hope you enjoy uh, my videos. Uh, so this is a break from uh, my previous series, which was uh, the uh, game, the Jump Cubes game series. This series will continue and I'm going to uh, finish uh, this series and you will be able to create the game from scratch uh, if you watch all the tutorials or you can pick up some uh, concepts from them and create something better from for your own project so uh, please do that and remember um, when you learn something for example now i'm actually focusing a lot of my time in uh, houdini so i'm learning it so uh, what did i do i actually uh, really like ghost of tsushima and i bought uh, the game and i'm playing the game so when i go through the game i actually uh, when i see an asset that i think i can uh, create procedurally uh, in Houdini and this is uh, for example I see some really nice temples but uh, uh, right now I don't think I have uh, the needed knowledge to create it uh, fast enough or uh, efficient enough so um, I pick up smaller uh, objects but objects that I really like so I have a real-time reference sheet basically because I can rotate around the object see how it's made and actually recreate it procedurally in Houdini so one of these uh, objects if I open um, my uh, projects it's I, I decided to make uh, a Tory gate as you see on the screen so this is the gate I can show you the um, uh, the notes, but uh, right now they are not that organized, and um, yeah. But uh, this is all. It may seem a lot for some of you, and if you are familiar with Houdini, this may not seem a lot at all. However, if you are very new to Houdini, this may seem a lot and overwhelming. But uh, these are basically boxes and uh, logic how to place them um, to relation to one another it's very simple uh, and if i go back to the object and i will explain i will create a tutorial series and i will create a course that you can purchase later but uh, i will create uh, a youtube free videos for uh, houdini and i will explain the basics and how you can create something like that um, it's not really that hard so here I can for example create um, change the length and uh, the, the width and uh, the height as well and I created two different heights one is uh, as you see scales these guys here uh, and the other scales uh, uh, from here up so uh and of course this which is not very helpful for this example but i just put it here uh so yeah uh, this is what you can create in uh houdini and you can export this in unreal and um, have some fun with it there as well so this is what you can do with uh, pretty much uh, the basic concepts uh, in uh, Houdini and what I wanted to talk about was uh, yes how, how do you learn Houdini so how do you start learning Houdini or how do you start learning anything at all so my uh, what I would like to uh, teach you here or not teach you or uh, share with you sorry I would like to share with you uh, my approach to learning absolutely everything so you can uh, use this approach in everything but I'm using it to learning Houdini and it's working very well for me so I hope it will work for you so what I do uh, is first I pick something interesting for me like uh, something that I'm interested in uh, for example I want to learn Houdini but I don't want to create um, teapots or whatever other uh, uh, whatever tutorials uh, they are in the uh, YouTube or anywhere you can find them so 
I actually search for something that's interesting and for example if I don't find something that's uh, interesting I search for a tutorial that uh, I like how the person talks so something that's enjoyable to listen to and what I do is actually uh, I watch the video and I just watch the video without doing anything I just watch the video and uh, I'm trying to pick up the concepts not the step by step how to create anything but the concept of what is uh, being created and how it's created uh, for example in Houdini there is this concept that you can uh, mask objects or rather group or uh, select uh, different uh, parts of the object and you can do it procedurally with this node uh, called group uh, the other concept is that you for example can have this size of the box uh, being with this expression here this expression here basically tells me I'm going to get the X size of box 3 which uh, is this box and I'm going to divide it by 2.2 um, right and if I for example you see if I uh, increase or decrease this number uh, all these um, boxes are actually scaled and it has relation to this box and if for example if I change the size of this box everything else that is related to this box changes as well so this is a concept in, uh, the, the concepts that you need to learn in Houdini not the step by step how to create this story gate that is not actually that important because you may not need to create this story gate but you may need to create for example a castle and you need to have uh, knowledge how to create it you need the concept so learn the concepts and you will be able to create whatever you desire not whatever I have created so very important uh, what I do is just watch the video once and try to understand the concepts try to remember and understand the concepts that are in this video and after that I try to create something uh, for myself something that I want to desire but some uh, not I want to desire sorry something that I want to create but uh, make it sure that you can create it with the knowledge that you uh, just learned for example when I learned the concepts that I used to create this story gate I wanted to create a shrine for example right? I wanted to create a huge pagoda like uh, a really big and awesome model but just with these concepts probably I would have failed uh, so start with something uh, little and uh, little but make sure you like it for example I like this story gate so I created one and do this thing and try to to think in your mind if you can create this object with your current knowledge and with the current concepts that you learn and this is how you practice this is how you learn because when I created this uh, toy gate I learned a lot uh, and actually not learned a lot I actually uh, used my knowledge and uh, created a skill so you have probably if you watch a 50 hour uh, tutorial or 50 hour uh, course that uh, has 50 hours right uh, you will probably have the knowledge that is some percentage of the knowledge that is in this course however after a week you will have forgotten like 95 percent of this knowledge so knowledge disappear uh, knowledge is not uh, what you need uh, not uh, you need it but not uh, the only thing you need the most important thing is the, to convert this knowledge into actual skill and you do this by uh, getting the knowledge that you have and creating your own uh, creation your own model your own system and uh, just using the concepts you can do uh, follow like uh, you can follow someone 
by doing the same thing that they do. And this is also a good practice. Don't get me wrong, this is also useful. So you can start with that as well, especially in the beginning where you don't know anything about the program. Uh, but when you get familiar with the program itself, the, the interface, how it works, uh, what you can do in it, you can actually start to learn uh, only the concepts and use them to create your own systems. Of course, if you, st if you are stuck somewhere, you always have the video, you always have the tutorial. Just go back to the tutorial and see what you are missing in your uh, knowledge, what you forgot. Because you cannot remember everything, right? Uh, maybe some of you can, but I cannot remember everything, so sometimes I go back to the tutorial, of course. So it's very natural. Uh, and this is uh, how I uh, spent my time learning Houdini. I learned the concepts, I practiced the concepts, I, I get inspired by something and I create something new. I get inspired by some other tutorial and uh, just uh, watch the, the concepts. Even if I don't use them uh, at this uh, time, sometimes I, I find something very interesting and I just uh, remember that it, this is possible. So I will go back to this later. But for now, this is possible. I all I need to know that this is possible. So I watch it. I know what is possible. I know which tutorial to watch later when I'm on a higher level and I can understand it better. And uh, this is how I progress. So this is what I wanted to talk about, and I really hope I inspire you to. Uh, create uh, to to create new things to learn new things and uh, hopefully to learn houdini and uh, become as free as you can as an artist because it's always uh, great to see other people creating uh, beautiful things uh, creating amazing systems and uh, it's very inspiring for me so the more people that do this the better is for me because also maybe one day you will create something that I'm going to learn from it so everyone wins in this industry you just uh, learn from each other so yeah uh, this is what I wanted to talk about today and uh, uh, it, this video is a bit longer than I <laughs> anticipated but uh, I wanted to talk about some stuff and uh, just uh, be sure to like if you like this video and subscribe if you want to learn more and uh, I'm going to make some videos about Houdini as well and uh, I'm going to continue my series about uh, the Jump Cube uh, game and how to create it from scratch so this is from me for from for now sorry uh, yeah this was a long video this is for uh, <laughs> again this is uh, from me for now and uh, i hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you in the next one